This is a short series on how to get your Meta's stove up and running for a roast. Uh, first step is to get the fire lit, which you do inside of this box here. When you do this, you must have that lever there pulled right out to the right, which opens a small box in the back of the fire box to let the air go up the chimney. And it's really important to let this whole chimney become very, very hot. It's important that once the chimney becomes warm, you use what I call the turbo door, which is this little sliding piece here, which opens and closes these small slots in the fire door. This creates a rush of air through those holes and causes um, quite a hot heated burn. In fact, if you listen carefully, you can hear the roar of the fire. You must get that roar of fire going uh, before you commence anything else. We're looking at about 20 minutes in at this stage. Once you've got a good burn with a good bed of coals going in the fire, remembering that you must always have new wood on there uh, as it's the flames that will draw the heat through the oven. You can start closing off this flue in the back here I've got it shut all the way. That will then force the hot air down and over the sides. And if you look carefully, you'll see the flames curling, curling at the sides and going down the sides of the oven, of the firebox. It's that curling of the air going down, forces it down the sides of the oven here, down under the base of the oven. And then there's a hole that goes back up through to the flue and back outside. So the flue must be very hot to draw the air down the sides and back around up the oven. Okay, we've been going for about three quarters of an hour and this area of the stove is hot to touch. Ooh, burnies, burnies. And we can see, I use a thermometer inside the oven. We can see that the thermometer is now reading just over 150, about 160 degrees. We're aiming for 180 degrees Celsius which is a moderate oven, which is perfect for roasting. Once we've reached temperature uh, and we want to control the temperature so the oven doesn't keep heating uh, because the current configuration will cause it to keep rising and probably go up to as much as 240 degrees, uh, we can adjust the temperature by choking off the fire with the turbo door, which will kill the coals down quite a bit, uh, and or releasing some of the air through that flue at the back if you slide that back open just a fraction, not too much, uh, that'll let hot air up straight up through the chimney and not down the sides of the oven. And the other trick is uh, if you actually open the fire door, um, it actually slows it somewhat because there's not as, even though it's a bigger hole, not as fast air going down the sides of the oven. They're the three methods I use to keep it down. The other thing is, of course, you need to keep feeding um, a log onto the fire every so often for the length of duration of your cooking um, to keep the fire actually going. And that's it. An hour in, the retro burner's going. I slowed the oven somewhat because it was getting a bit hot. But we've got it back now to about 170. It's that lovely lamb roast doing well in there. Then now to go.